This point of the season, Greg, right in the heart of the schedule. What are the biggest go. challenges for a player? Kevin, sometimes it's just about knowing what city you're in. The, the travel in this league is crazy, but you really want to keep focus and, and sleep and eat right. Vital. Now, here's MP. The Lakers moving the ball around. LeBron passes to MP. And a missed layup. Ball against none. In then Washington with the dunk. Well, you've got to see the whole floor. LaMelo Ball does exactly that, finds the open man. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. This is their first chance this season playing Charlotte. Should be an interesting game as these teams don't see a lot of each other being from different conferences. Right. They'll meet two times this year, East versus West. Let's see which team can enforce their style of play. Now, ball. After the miss three from MP. Ogier. Rebound by Elias Homer. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's MP. And oh boy, a lot of content. Shoot two. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. You see three steps ahead. Rozier against MP. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the way up. You know, Greg, you think back to draft. MP getting booed. Now these fans love him. <laughs> what a transformation. Well, winning that street ball tournament by beating Shep Owens, that was a message to those who wanted the team to draft Shep over MP. The Lakers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Davis missing. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Shot from 16. Ball no good. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Loads it up for Davis. Up high and stuff the alley -oop. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. And here's Charlotte, trailing by four. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Steve Clifford. Dave, what do you have to say? Well, Kevin, he gave me some broad strokes regarding the game plan. He said we want to work the ball into the paint, high percentage looks, and then get to the foul line if we can. 
We'll see how they try to accomplish that throughout the game. Kevin? Thank you, David. Thomas Bryant is checked in for Ilyasova. The Hornets also with a sub. Oubre is checked in for Mason Plumley. The drive by MP. And it's good for two. MP's got six. All right, he is just so tough to guard. He can fake you one way and then use that beautiful spin to just blow by you. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And Kevin, little plays like that one will help. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Kings in Sacramento. Thomas Bryan is out there with LeBron James. Then it's MP. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's none in at the one. That's the Laker five. Now, here's Ball. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Boy, get used to this. LaMelo Ball, another assist. This guy's got a chance to be one of the all-time great passers. Davis with a screen on Moutier. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Charlotte Trailer. Ball feeling it out a bit. Down low. It's stolen by Davis. Here's MP. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offense man, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. The Lakers with the ball, following the score by Charlotte. Davis dishes to MP. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feet. And it's eight points for MP. And remember, Davis played point guard in high school, showing off the vision there with that nice dime. And Plumley kicks to Hayward. Back to Plumley. It's stolen by Davis. LeBron against Oubre. Poked away. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Oubre. Joe's making a switch here. Elias Opus checked in. Rogier, he's checked in for the Hornets. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. MP, no good. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. He's proven he's capable of making an all-star team. Consider this. In every season but his rookie year, he's been a double-digit scorer, and he always does it in very efficient fashion. James, the pass to MP. And again, the Lakers, no good. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Here's Rozier. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. MP right side. Back to Davis. The kick out to Ilias Ova. None passes to MP. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ilias Ova. And they call the foul, so a chance at the... And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. 33, the away team. 33. Hey, folks, welcome. The Lakers wrap up the first half in what's been a closely contested game so far. Well, they need to focus on working the ball around more, less chucking it up from deep, more trying to involve one another. Yeah, chucking it up is never a good idea. Agreed. 
they need to concentrate on getting much better shots. I hate chucking it up. And now to some other news. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. MP's really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. The big man on the floor. It's Washington and Plumlee. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. And it's Hayward in at the three. Boy, pretty move by Rozier. He's forced into the floater, but what touch right there. If there's been a glaring weakness for the Charlotte Hornets these past several seasons, they clearly are not a good enough defensive team. And I mean that both in the painted area and with their perimeter guard play on the defensive end. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Well, MP in the last matchup against Sacramento played superb basketball. He scored 28 points, and he was efficient out there, whether it was from the field or at the free throw line. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll, we'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. And it's Rozier missing. And Doris with a strong post presence. Could the Hornets have been a playoff team? Well, I think it's a foundational piece to any championship-level defense. Most of the best defenses begin by taking away the painted area and easy shots and build outward, Kevin. So for me, it's more than just individual parts. You have to add in mentality and commitment and defensive principles that are built from the coach on through the personnel. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Let's it go. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Charlotte in the lead. Outside, ball. To the inside. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his third assist on the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And a wide open look for MP. They get the rebound from D. Villasova. A shot that time, not on target. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And the pass to Washington. Hayward against LeBron. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Plumley, the pass to Washington. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. One eleven left to play in the third. Pass to Oubre from outside the arc. To Scott Anderson grabs the rebound. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Lakers. Los Angeles with another miss. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Here is Bloodson. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Lakers trail by seven. MP outside. Trying to find Washington. Gets it to him. Passes it to Moutier. Oubre outside. And Davis sends it back. 
And, and wingspan, mobility, Davis is basically a shooter's nightmare. One of the great shot blockers in the league. Checking in for the away team, Gordon Hayward. 12 seconds left to play here in the third. From deep three-point range, and it's MP with the rebound. And Bryant kicks the walker. MP fires from way outside. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Elias Silva out there with Davis. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. Then it's MP. And it's Westbrook in up the shooting guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Oh, my goodness. AD wanted them to feel that one. Davis boosts his whole team with that explosiveness. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam King. Here's Ball. After the basket by the Lakers. He misses it. He's four for seven from the floor. Has to none. Dishes to MP. Here's Davis. And he lays it straight in. Davis has got four points this quarter. Yeah, the added muscle Davis has put on, helping him on these tough finishes. Flexing on him there. Ball gets to Washington. Back to Ball. Washington sets the pick for Ball. Inside. No good that time. Davis with some nice D. Lakers trail by three. The three from MP. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got six rebounds in the game. Ogier for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. None finds MP. Count the basket and the foul. And what a Defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And guys. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our team. Well, I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford had to say to his team. He said to them, that's the kind of effort we need to bring every night. We're right in this thing, but it's going to take sustained effort to close it out. Now let's bring it home. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. And Elias Oba kicks to MP. And the Lakers with another miss. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. Now, here's Rogier. Plumley sets the pick for Rogier. Eliasova comes up with the rebound. Eliasova's got his sixth rebound on the night. Lakers moving the ball around now. Washington against none. Driving the lane, and it's Washington missing. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. And the basket is good, and he's got it. Now, LaMelo Ball relishes these moments. That young man has no fear. And you really can't say enough of Put your hands together for the Lakers. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. LeBron is screen on Hayward. MV passes to LeBron. Ogier for three. The shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. On the wing, MV. 
Defended by Hayward. To the middle. Here's Ball. Rebound the Lakers. Elias Ova's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Hayward against MP. From 10 feet out, that one wide left. Lakers trail by four. LeBron outside. Kicks it out to MP. LeBron trying to free himself up. And foul on the shot. From the line. And the Hornets making a change here. Oubre's checked in. If he hits all of those, they're feeling they lead by three. 121 left in the fourth quarter. Ilyasova, he's checked in for LeBron. There's 117 left in the fourth. Long late with a screen on Westbrook. And Davis sends it back. Now here's Westbrook. It's MP, top of the key. Davis setting the pick for Westbrook. And here's MP for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Ogier up top. Back to Washington. Feeds it the ball over Westbrook. It's in! The mellow ball is never rattled. Doesn't matter how close the score or what the situation. This guy unafraid of big shots. Now, here's MP. Davis dishes to MP. Shooting foul as the winner. Yeah, the defender all over. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. That's his first personal foul. This may be their most important So young, but already an all-star. The future bright with a guy who can pass it and shoot it as consistently as he can. Now, here's none. And here's MP for three. Doesn't go that time. And they're best. Last guy you want to see on the line. So he goes two for two at the lot. And it's a seven-point game. Well. Substitution on the court. Oubre with the steal. Kicks to Moutier. And so it's Charlotte with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.